I have a gift for you. <laughs> I'm Amy Logan with amyloganlife.com and I am your post-Mormon life coach. And I have made something very special for you. Now, I know I have a lot of content. Obviously, my YouTube channel's free. You can come and consume and move on if you want to. But I made something that is just for people who head over to my website and sign up. And I have called it 10 Post-Mormon Life Hacks. And it is actually a video you will watch here on YouTube, but it's hidden. The only way you get access to it is if you go subscribe over on my website, amyloganlife.com. I originally made it as a PDF for anyone who signs up to be on my exclusive content list. But then I thought, videos my medium that I love the most because I feel I can connect with you instantly. So it is an a more in-depth to kind of some of the coaching that I do when I work with my clients, but it's a, it's no cost. All you have to do is go over and sign up and you can get access to that video. And I really poured my heart and soul into it because I had to kind of go back to where I was about 15 years ago when I was going through all of like the wave of emotions and feelings and all the things that happen when you're going through your faith crisis initially. But I also want to say that it's not just for the initial stages of your faith crisis, right? Because here we are years later, some of us are still dealing with some of, well, I'll just call them the side effects that happen when you leave your faith and you still have family in it or you have un unresolved issues that you still feel some of the pain from, you still feel some of the heartache from. Maybe most days you've got it down, right? Most of us go about our days, we have to. And then every once in a while you'll get a day that just kind of like slaps you upside the head like, what the hell? I thought I was over this. This is for you. 10 post-Mormon life hacks. Just go to amyloganlife.com and sign up and it's my gift for you. So I hope you go grab that, consume it, take notes, like really apply each one of those life hacks to you and your Mormon faith transition. Or you don't even have to be a post-Mormon to be doing this. It could be any, I think these apply to all of us in the post kind of religious circles that we find ourselves in. Maybe you transitioned into another religion, maybe you haven't. There's the whole spectrum of all of us in between, whether you're Jehovah's Witness, Scientology, Seventh-day Adventist, Exvangelical, you know, all of you. We speak the same language and that's what I love so much. So yes, I've titled this post-Mormon life hacks, but this applies to you too. So go grab it, consume it, let me know what you think.